Hi, I'm Dave Booth, Vice President of Sales with Caliber Equipment. And what I'd like to do today is just take a couple minutes and talk a little bit about the use of pads versus brushes. Picking out the right auto scrubber for your project is the most important thing because they come in very, a lot of different sizes, riders, walk-behinds, widths, depending on the project and the size. But a very important part of getting the results that you're looking for is deciding do I need pads for cleaning or maybe it's brushes. And they come in a wide variety. Often we get calls from our customers that they're just not getting the cleaning performance that they're looking for. And often it's not the machine, it's the type of brushes or pads that they may be using depending on their floor surface and the cleaning performance that they're looking for. One of the choices that you have usually in the commercial industry on finished floors being waxed or VCT tile, marble, terrazzo, where you're dealing with spills, stains, maybe light dust, often pads are used and pads come in a wide range of colors or coarseness. What we have here to show you, first of all, you always have to have a pad holder or a driver and that's what this particular style has very short bristles on it. This is not designed for scrubbing, this is to hold the pad on to the driver. And then it usually has a centering device so that the pad sits on and then this holds it tight onto the brush. Again, this is strictly for holding the pad onto the, onto the driver, it's not designed for scrubbing. Now as you see with the pads, they come in different colors and there's many, many more. But in general, this is the five most used. The lightest color is going to be the softest. If you have very high polished marble, terrazzo, even wax VCT floors, this is going to be the softest that you would put on your machine for very light scrubbing and very light pressure on the floor. A little bit more aggressive cleaning, again this is the most popular in the industry, is usually a red pad. It's a little thicker, it's a little coarser, so it's going to clean the stains and spills off the floor, but especially when you have VCT floor with a floor finish on it, a little bit of grit and dirt gets stuck into the finish. This may not release it, yet the red being a little coarser is going to help take it out. Now, if you want to get a little more aggressive cleaning as the colors get darker, then you may step up to a blue pad. Blue is, again, a little denser, a little more coarse to give you more aggressive cleaning on your floor. Next, you could go up to the green. Green is now getting very aggressive that you may use this to do a top scrub where you want to recoat. What this would do would take off the top layer of floor finish enough so it's nice and clean and then you can come back with your layers of floor finish without stripping. Last one is a black pad. Again, black is generally used for stripping. This is something that's going to do a hard scrub. If you're trying to remove the floor finish with this you would probably want to use a stripping solvent to soften up the floor finish and then you could use a black pad. So as you can see, they come in different types, different colors. So depending on your floor surface, what you're trying to clean, picking out the right color or the right type of pad is going to give you far better performance than maybe what you're getting now. Then you have brushes. Now brushes, kind of like pads, they come in a whole range of choices from the type of bristle to the thickness of the bristle depending on the floor. Generally brushes are used on industrial floors, concrete floors, things where you need a little more aggressive cleaning and keep in mind when you use a brush you're not changing pads which have to be cleaned and or changed routinely. Using a brush eliminates that. Now anytime you use pads you have to pre-sweep because any grit and sand and dirt left on the floor is going to get stuck into the pad. When you use a brush, you should pre-sweep, however any small grit in that is going to go in between the bristles so there's less chance of you damaging the floor, but because of the bristles we're going to get more penetration into the floor, whether it's concrete, smooth, rough, a tile floor with grouted lines, then a brush may be your best choice. And as you can see in this sample here, they start at an inexpensive polypropylene, kind of a generic brush low cost, does a nice job in general. 
Then we can get into a nylon, which is very soft. If you have, again, a high polished floor, marble, terrazzo, where you need that scrubbing action, but you don't want to take a chance of scratching the surface. Then as you see, as we move up the line here, the bristles all get thicker. And these are what we call a gridded brush. And what that means is each bristle has actually got carbon impregnated into each of the bristles. So now it's almost like a piece of sandpaper. So as it spins, it's holding onto the grease and dirt and it cleans far better than just a standard brush. And as you see, as we go up the line here, you've got a very thin bristle, then you get thicker, thicker, and up to the maximum type up on this end. So again, depending on the cleaning you're trying to accomplish and the type of floor, when you use a brush, you need to make sure you're picking out the right type of bristle for the application. Now there are some machines that you can get roller brushes, or also called cylindrical. All scrubbers either come in one or two types. Either they use disc or round brushes, or they're going to use one or two of a roller or a cylindrical brush. But the same holds true with this. You can get these in the same different type of bristles depending on your floor finish. Generally cylindrical machines have two of them and they're designed to sweep and scrub at the same time. There's two of these underneath the machine. They're spinning at a high RPM and then there's a little catch tray so small debris that may be on the floor that you didn't pre-sweep or if you're trying to save labor that's where cylindrical or roller brushes become an advantage because you're not pre-sweeping and then scrubbing, you're letting the machine and the brushes do both jobs at the same time. And as I said, these come in different type bristles, so it's important to pick out the right bristle and the right type of brush for the floor that you're trying to clean. One of the manufacturers we work with, a company Malish, who makes OEM and aftermarket brushes, they have a system where you can now get brushes that are color coordinated and replace pads. So if you're tired of going through the expense of pads, it may be wise to look at instead of buying pads, go to brushes because this will give you the same performance but last far longer than pads. And it, as you see, the red ones are like a red pad. Then you got medium when you come into the blue. Then you got a little more aggressive in the green and then the black for stripping and they even have a super strip brush, this one right here. Last thing we want to talk about is if you have a high polished concrete floor, maybe terrazzo uh, or marble, you can actually polish that floor and bring back that super high gloss that you once had. When you're trying to polish concrete, brushes are not going to do the job, but with the system that Malish offers, the diamond brush system, these have diamonds in them. And they come in different grits just like brushes. They have metal tools that you can get if you're trying to grind rougher floor surface, uh, take up mastic and remove coatings. And then they come in a wide range of grits for actually polishing. So by putting these on your auto scrubber, there's diamonds in these and again they come in different colors and different uh, uh, grits. You can actually bring the shine back to that polished concrete floor that you once lost. So again, these are things that a special project that you can do and if you call us up we'll be more than happy to explain it to you and give you more information. But as you can see, whether you're using pads or brushes, there's a wide choices. And again, if your auto scrubber is working as it should and you're not getting the results, the problem might just be you're using the wrong pad or maybe the wrong brush. So give us a call, Caliber Equipment, 888-550-0945, and we'll try to help solve your problem and get better results on your cleaning. Thanks for watching. Bye.